always get so scared when I wake Caitlin up. Um, it's 7 a.m. We're going to the gym. Let's do it. In the gym. It's 7 a.m. Yes, we We're not messing around. Summer's coming. Oh, yeah. Uh, Lily's computer broke, so she didn't upload her vlog, but she's a Wednesday vlogger, too. I don't know. I feel like that's just a good day. And, I don't know. I don't know if I was going to say anything else, but that's it for now. <laughs> I'm late for class again. The recommended time to show up is 8.30, but you really can show up whenever you want. I hate watery coffee. My coffee's watery. Do you see that? There's like three ice cubes in it. Kevin just said I haven't posted on YouTube in a while, so. Post tonight. 2020's our year. Yep. My professor got smoothie um, on my paper. I also didn't go out. I'm proud of myself, but also. There's only so many times I can meet strawberry blondes and blondes. Tonight is one of those times. There'll be other times too. <laughs> Love being healthy. Yay. Okay, if you guys didn't know, um, part of getting rid of fat is icing it. So I'm gonna put it on my stomach. If you know about cool sculpting, it's like basically they like freeze your fat. And I'm pretty sure you can just do it with an ice pack. I don't know. I've read a couple articles about it. And I really hope it's true because I've been icing it every night. So. Today's look is looks like I'm hungover, but I'm not. So that's good. Love fan mail. Thanks, Grandma and uh, Dad. Thank God I'm not a tour guide here because... I would be like, okay, and coming up on our right, I threw up there. Silly. Caitlin knows me so well. Are you lonely at all? Yes. Extremely. Okay, I'm like actually not trying to be funny right now. I just don't understand Valentine's Day. Like, I don't understand relationships. I don't understand how to get one. I don't understand why. I don't understand love. <laughs> I'm so out of the loop on Valentine's Day. Not a fan, honestly. It's so dead here at school. I don't know why everyone thinks when we get one extra day, that means go home. No, that means we have one extra day to go out. I don't know what is wrong with everyone. I'm ready to go at all times. It's Friday night and absolutely nothing is happening, so. Um, I think I'm going to bed. I don't, I don't even know. Basically, I don't like Valentine's Day. Allie, um, keeps trying to visit me and, like, go to the bookstore. And it's been closed every time. It's been closed every time the last probably six times I've been here. It's either closed for a Sunday I think or... it's been three. Yeah, it's been three. I already went to Pure Bar, but I'm gonna go walk on the treadmill just because it's, like, Sometimes if I'm answering emails or doing that kind of thing, might as well just like walk. Ryan, change the lights. Teach them young. Point <laughs> over there, over to the, the blue. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Do you like the vlogs? Yeah. Oh, I ended up accidentally, well kind of on purpose, putting baby powder all in my, in my bed because I wanted it to smell good. Um, so yeah. That's good. Oh, I washed my sheets too. That's why I did that. Last night I didn't go out. It was Friday. Tonight I didn't go out. It's Saturday. It's just like so cold. No one's here. And I was like, you know what? I feel like I'm just gonna like get ahead of the game. Feel good. Wake up early. So that's the vibe for this weekend. I'm sure next weekend will be a different vibe. But like sometimes it's good to mix in like chill time. Like you know what? Like I have the rest of college to go wild. It's okay if I'm just gonna chill. Wait, let me clarify. Chill this weekend or chill tonight. You know what I mean? We love a good time also. There is a new scandal. That's 
sad. We will need to alert Aiden immediately. The investigator of the cute tips. It's actually really nice out today. Okay, I don't know if anyone, ooh, oops. I just pressed something on the phone, but I don't know if anyone can relate to this, but I get so frustrated with the reading in my classes because it's actually impossible to read everything and then I feel like a slacker if I don't make an effort, but then I can't like do it. So that's a little frustrating. I think I'm gonna, um, since the vlog portion of this wasn't too long, wrap this up with like a little, um, healthy nighttime routine. Okay, I'm gonna take a shower because that definitely helps clear out the day, relax you, make you clean. And also, um, I'm gonna take two, three milligrams of melatonin, <laughs> pop a melly or two, um, because I have a lot of energy at all hours of the day, regardless of like if I'm tired, I just don't really get tired. So I have to medicate myself to sleep. <laughs> so that's what I do for that. So I recommend doing that. And then I also like to spray my pillow with this little good night um, lavender spray to make me more tired. So we're gonna do that. Okay, so I just got out of the shower, going to put moisturizer on. And I normally wouldn't film this kind of thing because it's really not that like crazy. I'm sure you all know to moisturize your face when you get out of the shower. But what I did want to talk about is we have some pimples going on. I get really annoyed when I watch YouTube videos and people like really hype up their skincare because some of us have tried a million products, like different routines, and the reality is when you're 19 years old, sometimes you're gonna have pimples and it's just time to move on. Like I'm 19 years old, I have three pimples on my face right now, like not a big deal, not a shocker. I'm not gonna stress about it. Like I have I have a bunch of to-dos, that's not one of them. So if you have a few pimples on your face too, let's just make it cool. The moisturizer is just Neutrogena, but this is a um, tea tree oil mask. I found that I have like sensitive red skin, so tea tree oil is like a good product. So you might want to try that. It's actually only 9.20, but I'm getting up for a workout class at 6 a.m. tomorrow. So probably going to have to get up at like between 5.15 and 5.45. So I am going to try to get to bed within the next like 45 minutes. But I do have a test tomorrow, so I'm going to look over my notes. This is a miracle that I'm doing this. Usually I'm very last minute. Um, and I guess kind of still last minute, but... I'm trying to get more control over my life. I've already said I feel super annoyed with um, the amount of reading that's expected, but I was thinking maybe next um, semester getting the syllabus for like a few of my classes and getting caught up on like the reading type stuff over the summer. That way when I get to school, I can work on my business type stuff more and not have to spend so many hours doing homework because I have so many business ideas that I really need to work on, but it's really easy for those to take on the back burner role when like I have tests coming up, if you know what I mean. This moleskin journal for every single class, I just simply put the date at the top and then um, what subject it is, and you know, that works for me. I have had back problems, so carrying a lot of stuff is not good for me. So as long as I organize it by page, it's fine. And then this is also like my personal journal because sometimes in the past I was having so many different journals at once. It was so hard to keep track of. But on the personal side, um, I guess this is a little embarrassing if you read, but whatever. Um, so I put the date and then I put um, morning pages. And you're supposed to write three pages, but I can never do three pages. I usually just do like a paragraph just to get my thoughts out in the morning and like start the day with a clear perspective. And then I have my top priorities and I have like normally around like 30 to 50 to do's, but I've been trying to pick out like between five and 10 that have to get done this day. And then at the end of the day, my pen, oh, I'm also very specific about the pen, has to be G07, G207 pilot, whatever. Um, I just bought more today because I refused to use anything else. So I did this. 
I did not get to this, I did this, I did this, I did not get to that, except I'm filming a vlog, I did read, I did do management homework, and I did work out. So, definitely could work on that a little bit. And then this part um, is gratitude of the day. Every, th every single day I think of something I'm grateful for and I write that, so I'm going to work on that right now. So for my gratitude of February 18th, 2020, I wrote that I'm grateful that I'm self-aware and in tune with myself, both emotionally and physically. I feel like I'm very level-headed. Um, most things don't bother me. I cry very rarely and I'm pretty in tune with my body too. Like, oh, I need to drink more water or I'm feeling stressed out right now. I need to work out. And also something I did today was I... Um, walked on the treadmill for an hour and I just did like my to-dos on my phone and tried to get things done like emails texting people back um, and I burned like 300 calories it wasn't like a tough workout I did a workout class later on and it felt really good so I definitely recommend walking on the treadmill and maybe doing some journaling like I do Okay, so I have my outfit laid out, my sneakers, my water bottle all ready to go for tomorrow. So that will help me not be like rummaging through things when my roommate's trying to sleep. Most colleges don't allow candles, so if you want your room to smell good, I definitely recommend a little essential oil diffuser. And then I also have this um, sound machine, and it's like for babies, but... I usually just put it on rain and then put it up one or two. Two sometimes better that way. Um, Caitlin can sleep. So go to look at the vision board and just be reminded of what I want to attract in life. They don't love the lights around here. They were just kind of working for a minute. But what's going to happen is the vision board's going to spread across. And I think also maybe up a square too because I have so many pictures. And then I have new lights coming in and then they're going to go above the vision board. And then my book is Think and Grow Rich. And I really, really like this book. But I do want to start reading it during the day because it definitely ha gets me like hyped up for business ideas and stuff. Which is awesome. But I'm so hyped up all the time. I need to calm down. Um, so I'm going to try to get a different book for like more fiction um to read just before bed i think it's more therapeutic and then maybe try to read this somewhere on my crazy day and then i also as my bookmark have um part of this book talks about auto suggestion and you believe what you say to yourself so it's a note card basically with like my life mission statement and my goal of being worth 10 million by 2030 so I read this to myself every night and every morning. Sometimes I forget, but um, making it into a bookmark has definitely helped. And then it's also in my phone um, and I can hit play and have it be read to me, which also helps because I can like brush my teeth and just turn it on. Sometimes people in the bathroom probably think I'm crazy, but that's okay. So I also am going to read this and then also read a few pages of my book. I also want to say that as hard as it is to like go to bed early it feels so good to I don't know by the end of the day I'm like burnt out so just tucking myself in is like such a good thing to do because at this point I'm probably just gonna be looking at my phone anyway so it feels much better to get a good like start to your day and be up early in the morning we're going to do a meditation from headspace let's see kindness acceptance oh maybe balance feeling a little bit stressed maybe balance is a good one so i have to get up i'm gonna go into the settings and change it to uh, 20 minute window and then i have to get up sometime between no latest 35 15 to 535 yep that works and then you just set it down Okay, so that's the vlog for this week, kind of like a vlog slash night routine, 
and the vlog was kind of centered more around like being healthy and working out and stuff that was also my podcast episode that i posted yesterday so yep this is going up tomorrow wednesday thank you guys so much for watching i'm really having fun like documenting my weeks in college honestly i wish i did it last semester it's really fun to look back on but no regrets learning from everything i do so all right um i'll see you next wednesday for a new vlog follow me on the gram and subscribe to my channel for more videos and maybe I'll do a morning routine soon since I get up at the crack of dawn. All right, bye, have a good week.